Now, last time we talked a lot about zodiac constellations, and we talked about um, the astronomy, not astrology. But I want you to understand that we still use these constellations as a point of reference. Um, they are very, very useful for astronomers to determine locations. And this flat plane, it's, it's sort of like, here's the sun, here's the earth, and it's sort of like we are all on a flat record player going around. And as the earth goes around the sun, um, we see on the outer edges of that flat record, we see these assorted constellations. So they are incredibly useful as waypoints and markers and directional tools as we're trying to view the entire cosmos. And so it might say that Jupiter happens to be in Sagittarius, uh, to say that Mars is currently in Libra, meaning in front of that constellation. I am going to request that you know the name of the ecliptic constellations and you know them in order so that you know which constellation comes after which. Now, there are 13 of them and it can be very, very confusing. So let's talk about some tools that help. I want you to memorize this little mnemonic device, this little memory aid, um, and it goes like this. A time gone, cowboys loved viewing little stars, oh, so cold and pretty. Now, it's a nonsense little saying, but it will help you remember which constellations are in which order. So we are going to start with Aries. Aries is right here. A time gone. Aries Taurus, Gemini. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Ah, time gone. Cowboys loved. Cowboys loved. Viewing little stars. Viewing little stars. Uh, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius. Ophiuchus, O. Sagittarius, So. Cold, Capricorn. And Aquarius, Pretty. A uh, time gone, cowboys loved viewing little stars, oh, so cold and pretty. Now, let me give you a couple hints on memorizing this. First off, it gets a little confusing because of the fact that we've got a couple different S constellations and a couple different L constellations. Fortunately, we only, and we have two A constellations. So here goes. A is the shortest of the two words, a and and, and Aries is a much shorter word than Aquarius. So a for Aries, and, which is a longer word beginning with a, for Aquarius. Not a lot longer, but longer. A time, Taurus is our only T constellation. Gone, Gemini is our only G constellation. And then we have Cowboys. Cancer is for cowboys. Now that can be, yeah, that sounds terrible. I I, I keep picturing uh, cowboys from the old Marlboro ads with lung cancer. That's a terrible thing. You know, I don't want you thinking about stuff like that. But if it helps you remember it, go for it. Loved, we've got a, two L constellations. And loved has an O in it. Leo has an O in it. And that's how I keep them straight. So loved means Leo. Viewing, we only have one V constellation, Virgo. Virgo for viewing, VI for Virgo, VI for viewing. Libra, Libra is has an I in it. So little has an I in it. And Libra has an I in it. So viewing little stars. Stars and Scorpio. Okay, how the heck are we going to keep that straight? Here's how I remember it. The word stars has this T. T's are kind of sharp letters. They have points, point, 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 point. They're kind of pointy. The constellation Scorpio, Scorpio it was supposed to represent this bug that can bite you, and it's got pincers, and it can bite. So scorpions are kind of pointy. And stars has the T in it, and that's kind of pointy. And that's how I remember it. Ophiuchus is the only O constellation. 
so cold, so Sagittarius for so, I don't have a good hint for so and Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn for cold. Capricorn is usually in December. Uh, if you know somebody who is a Capricorn, it's December, January, and those are the coldest part of the years. So the coldest part of the year is when our sun happens to be in Capricorn, the mid-midwinter. And for Aquarius, that's the larger of the two A's. And pretty, pretty for pretty Pisces the fish. Hope that helped. A time gone. Cowboys love viewing little stars. Oh, so cold and pretty. See ya next time.